What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and do my cash envelope stuffing for April 30th, 2021. So if you're interested in videos like this, consider hitting that like, subscribe button, comment down below just to tell me what you guys think of today's video. So without further ado, let's go. So as usual, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the breakdown over here, okay? And technically, I was actually supposed to get out $1,220. However, being the fact that I only have a certain amount of limit that I can take out per day, it would have taken me two days in order for me to take out that amount of money, which I was like, no, I cannot do this. I cannot extend it to next month. I'm actually going to go ahead and only take out 440. You guys are going to know why in just a little bit. Okay. However, I am going to go ahead and stuff $140 into my cash envelopes and what will remain technically would be $1,080. So I have over here the money, which is the $440. Okay, I already exchanged it into the denominations that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and just spread it out really, really quick. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna give you the cash stuff in over here and what we are actually gonna stuff. So as usual, I'm gonna begin with my small envelopes, which I have over here. Now these are available at my shop. If you guys are interested, go ahead and check them out. I'm gonna be leaving the link down below, okay? So I have my receipts envelope, my gas envelope, food envelope, Tommy envelope, okay? So as usual, each well, the gas and the food are going to receive a $40, so that's just good. This. And guys, I have so many. This, I feel that this video is going to be so jam-packed with so many good little things. You guys are going to be proud. All right. <laughs> let me not spoil it, okay? All right. So let me go ahead and get this. And to be honest, I just didn't really want to wait that long. For me like just to take out that amount of money so yeah a lot of good things are coming people okay all right so i'm gonna go ahead and give tommy 20 bucks all right so let me actually yeah just take this one i have to go to walmart with him and yes okay so these are completely stuffed so they're gonna go back into my wallet so let me just this here Let's open it all right so we're gonna go ahead and give $20 for my cart maintenance now let's see how much money I have currently okay so I have 100 200 1 2 3 4 $280 in my cart maintenance. Let me go ahead and grab 20. Okay. And that is gonna be, is it 300? Hold on, let me just put it all in order. And let's just recount really quick. 100, 200, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 10. <clears throat> All right, so let me put it back in here. Let me go ahead and put some money for my holidays. Okay. And I currently have here 51, 52, 53, 54. So that will be 59, right? All right. 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. Yes, 59. All right. I still have to buy mommy like a little cute thing for mommy's day. All right. Beach. Let's put in here five bucks. So let me put it in the back. Let's see how much money we have for beach. 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95. 100 you guys I think I only need like 50 bucks more and then I'm set I no longer have to like fund 
my beach one. All right, let's see. Cumple, that's my birthday. I currently have 11 bucks. <laughs> $16. Hey, it's getting a little bit big, okay? Okay. Next will be Peru apartment, and that one is also receiving five bucks. So let's see how much money we have there. Oh gosh, a lot of ones. All right, hold on. <laughs> These are so new that they're like, they get stuck together, okay. 100, 150, 155, 160, 165, 166, 167, 168, 169, 170, 171, 172, 173, 174, 175, 176, 177, 178, 179, 180, 181, 182, 183, 184, 185, 186, 187. All right. It's really, really good. Okay. All right, so you probably think that we're done. Ha, <laughs> we're not. We still got money here. Hold on. Hold your horses, people, okay? So, let me just move this to the side for a little bit. Because, you guys, <laughs> let's look at my debt control. So my car balance two weeks ago was $780.89. And I made that payment <laughs> already. <laughs> I made it. I made that payment today at 8 in the morning as I was getting out of the shower, you guys. I completely paid off my car. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. You guys have no idea. Like, $260, I'm no longer going to pay for my car. It's paid off, baby. Yes. I'm excited. I'm, I'm so happy. So now what we're going to be focusing on... It's actually my student loans, yes. So all of my credit cards are paid off. My car is paid off as of today, the last day of April, you guys. <laughs> I can't believe it. I really, really can't. It's, It's been such a long road, okay? But all right, stick with me because we got more things coming here. All right, so we have some extra money here, okay? So I have 100, 200, three hundred dollars okay yes so being that I have three hundred dollars over here actually one hundred and thirteen dollars are going towards my sons and roses shop because that is exactly how much money I made between this week yeah I think this week so I'm gonna go ahead and exchange actually one of the 50s so that I have the correct denominations super quick, okay? So, in these past two weeks, I actually have made a total of $213 from my Sons and Roses shop. So, we're gonna go ahead now and count how much money in total I have so far in here. Now, I did make some online purchases because of things that I needed. So let's see how much money I currently have in here. I have not counted it. I've just been stuffing it and just putting everything together. So me and you, we're going to find out how much money I have in total, okay? So let me just fix this really, really quick. Hold on. I just like to have it in order. Okay, there you go. All right, let's begin to count. 100, 200, 300, 400, 550, 560, 570, 580, 93. So 593 dollars I have a so far from my shop. Good. So the money that's remaining is actually here. 187 so let's count it really quick so there's 100 50 60 70 75 80 85 86 87 okay so this money is actually going to go towards my payment for my 
student loan. Now I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a background story if you have just recently subscribed to my channel. I used to have a total of five student loans in total, okay? When I first, first began my journey, those amounts were the lowest amounts out of all of the debt that I owed. Now, I did owe a total of $40,000, okay? So, those two loans that I completely paid off were one of the lowest ones. So, when this whole thing happened, right, and all of the student loans were put towards forbearance, then I had no interest to pay on them. And I was making payments to my student loans constantly, monthly. And when I found out that I didn't have to make pay payments until a certain amount of time, then I decided to go ahead and just shift my focus into paying off my credit cards and my car, things that were accumulating interest, okay? So I took the executive decision to go ahead and just put my student loans to be last to receive the payoff. I finally got to the point of being able to start to pay off my student loans once again. So we're going to be tackling for the next few months my three remaining student loans. And the first one will be and we'll have a balance of $2,443.82. I show you guys this up here because you guys know, keep it real with you. So there you go. Okay. And as you can see, there's a zero interest rate right now. So once I make that payment of $187, I'm going to have remaining $2,256. Now, usually whenever I do set myself like a goal or anything in that matter, basically that is kind of like my small milestone goal. Like by when do I want to pay off this debt? I always like to set a date just so that I can keep my mind focused and my mind doesn't go like shifting onto other things. So my personal goal is to pay off this $2,000 that I just mentioned to you guys by June 11th, okay? If I can pay it off earlier, then that is fine, better for me. But yeah, I'm super excited about that. So this money is actually going to go into my debt payment, okay? So let me go ahead and get this. And I think that I have some money in my debt payment from my last stuffing. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So I have 187. So that makes it 197 dollars that I have. That's almost 200 dollars, you guys, for my debt payment. Meaning that the amount that you guys just saw is going to decrease by $10 more, okay? Let me go ahead and take the money out from rollover money. So I have 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. So I'm going to go ahead and put $10 here. So wait, 197, 98, 99, 200. I'm going to put $3 in here just so that I have a 200 even. Okay. And I think that's pretty good. Current maintenance, I'm not going to put anything because we just put something there. Medical, nope. Beauty. Hmm. Should I put anything on beauty? Let's go ahead and put 3 bucks, okay? Just in case. I don't know. Just in case I need like nail polish remover or something. Holidays. Hmm. Do I put anything? Let's just put one buck. I don't want to be, you know, mean to it. Beach. Ah. Okay. You know what? Beach. Beach is getting 20. Yeah. I'm a ball out. <laughs> My kids, oh my god. All right, let's give them two bucks. Just because I love them. Okay. That's in Spanish, okay. Navidad, nothing. My birthday. Should I put something for my birthday? Oh my god. And then it's Peru. <gasps> you know what? 
let's put it all to my birthday because why not you know my favorite number is 22 and there's literally 22 dollars here so birthday it is all right and that is that i'm so excited i hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and thank you so much for coming by so yes the next video that's coming is actually going to be my debt closeout yeah like end of the month closeout and i'm super excited because it's it's a big big thing you know but yeah all right i'll let you guys go have a good one bye